Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. Today's episode of Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors is going to show you how to replace uh, cooling fans on your 3D printer. Uh, this soldering technique will also apply to any other wire breakages that you have on your 3D printer. It's a great way to fix any of those. So, without further ado, let's dive into this. Now, I don't know about you, I hate soldering. I hate having to get the uh, tip properly tinned. I hate messing with the flux. Um, if you get a cold solder joint, then you've got to redo it. If you miss out and you don't uh, see that you got a cold joint, you have a weak joint then, and it can come loose and create a fire hazard. Um, what I like to do for my 3D printers on the wiring is use something called a solder sleeve. Uh, these are much simpler to use. They don't require a soldering iron or flux or anything like that. Um, the only two specialty tools you need are a heat gun and some wire strippers, and that's it. If you know how to use a heat gun, you can fix wiring on your 3D printer using these sleeves. I use them for all my stuff. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They work great and it just simplifies what would be a pain in the butt job uh, using a soldering iron. So let me just give you, I'm gonna go through the whole process later in the video, but right now I just wanna run you through the basic concept of how a solder sleeve works. So to get started, you're gonna need some uh, solder sleeves. They're actually called solder seal wire connectors. You buy these in boxes of different sizes on Amazon. I will link them in the video description. This is what they look like. They come in different diameters uh, based on the diameter or the gauge of the wiring that you're connecting. Um, but they come in different sizes. You can buy a multi-pack like this or buy specific sizes. I just buy these multi-packs all the time. You will need uh, a basic pair of wire strippers. They make really expensive ones. You don't need them. Just get a basic pair like this. I'll link these in the video description as well. You don't need anything fancy. Uh, finally, you need a heat gun. Um, there's tons of different ones. It really doesn't matter. Uh, this is a very inexpensive one and it works just fine. The basic concept behind the solder sleeve is it's a rubber sleeve that fits over the wiring. In the center of the sleeve is a bit of solder. It will melt when you apply heat to it, uh, connecting the joint. The colored bands on the outer ends are a seal material that when heated will melt and create a watertight seal on your wire. Now normally when you would solder this together, you would still need to put a shrink wrap tube to make it watertight and use a heat gun. So this is just cutting out a lot of steps and making the process a lot easier. And again, it I don't want to say idiot proof, I don't like that term, but it takes a lot of the potential for failure out of the process. If you can use a heat gun and just watch for the solder to melt, you're going to be fine and get a good joint. Um, what you're going to do is then slide the solder tube or solder sleeve over one of the wires before you connect them. Then you're going to use a lineman splice, and I will show you how to do this later in the video, but you're just it's basically twisting the wires together in a specific way. You will then slide the solder sleeve over the connection so that the bit of solder is right over where you've twisted the wires together. And then you just apply heat and you're done. It's really, really simple. Anybody can do it. Um, here is a cross view I created of what it looks like on the inside. You have your lineman splice. The blue in this view is the solder. The red is the seal material. When you apply heat, all of it melts and contracts and creates a tight bond for your splice and a watertight seal on the ends. And just takes a few minutes with a heat gun and you're done. So when I replace fans on my 3D printers, these are the types of fans I buy. They have a JST connector on the end. And if you don't wanna do this with JST connectors, you can just cut the connector off and directly use a solder sleeve to connect the uh, wiring on your new fan to the wiring on your printer. You can direct connect it. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I just don't like doing it because then every time I have to replace a fan in the future, I've got to clip the wiring and get a new solder sleeve and reseal and re, you know, uh, connect those wires. What I prefer doing is the first time on any printer when I replace a fan is I buy a pack of these JST connectors that will match the, um, uh, connector that comes on the fans and I'll link these in the video description as well 
And then once I have these connected with solder sleeves, any time in the future that I replace a fan, I just unplug it. There's no more soldering that needs to be done. So when you're doing this, it's key to remember that the colors of the wiring must match up in a specific way. For the hot end main cooling fan, uh, the wiring on that coming out of your printer will be red and black. They match up to the red and black wires on your new fan directly. So connect black to black, connect red to red. For the parts cooling fan, the wiring coming out of your printer will be blue and yellow. Blue must connect to black on the new fan and yellow must connect to red. Don't mix these up or your fan's not going to work right. Now, like I said, when I do this, I like to use a JST connector so that I never have to solder again. The connector on the fan will just plug into this connector and anytime I have to replace a fan I just unplug them and plug the new one in. It makes swapping fans out extremely fast. Now the problem is most fans come with the wiring going into the connector in one way and by that I mean the red is on one side the black is on the other. The the uh, loose connectors that you buy off Amazon have it just the opposite and as you can see here the red wire from the fan is hitting on the side of the black wire on the connector and same for the opposite side. The black wire from the fan is hitting on the hot side of the wiring on the connector. So what are your options here? Well if you know how to disconnect a JST plug like this you can actually pry the prongs out and swap the wires around. Um, I don't do this. I don't really recommend you do this simply because you run the risk of damaging the prongs for the connection or weakening them or they could slip out or break off and that just creates a fire hazard. Um, again, if you know what you're doing, go ahead and do it. Keep the wiring straight. That's fine. Um, if you're not accustomed to working with these and doing that, you might just want to avoid it and do what I do on my printers. And that is simply swap the wires around for a short distance. What you're seeing here on the left are the two wires going into the printer, the black on the top, the red on the bottom. Then where I use the solder sleeve connectors, I have just flipped the JST connector over 180 degrees. So for just a short length here, the wiring doesn't match up, but it will with the plug. Um, this way you're not messing with those pins. You're not running the risk of loosening them up or ruining the connector or, you know, creating a fire hazard. And if this bothers you having the wires swap color for that last inch or so, um, just wrap it in electrical tape. That way it's a non-issue. You don't see the swapped colors and there's no confusion with it. So normally this is what your connection would look like. Black goes to black, red goes to red. When you put the JST connector in, that short length there in the middle will have the color swapped. It doesn't make any difference. The wiring is the same on both sides. The coloring is just on the insulation. Um, all you have to make sure you get straight is the black wire going into the fan is on the same side as the black wire going to the printer board and the same for the red. The red wire going into the fan must be on the same side as the red wire going into the printer board. That short little space there in the middle that I'm showing with the connectors doesn't matter what the wiring color is. You just want to have the connectors being able to fit together. So your connection, if you're using JSTs, will look like this. Same way with the parts cooling fan. Normally it would be black going to blue and red going to yellow. If you put a JST connector in, it's going to look like this. You're just going to have swap colors in the middle. It's no big deal. Just make sure that the black on the fan goes to the blue to the board and the red on the fan goes to the yellow running to the board and you'll be fine. So this is what a finished splice looks like using solder sleeves. It's real easy. It doesn't take any time at all. Uh, you can put your, um, your braided sleeve that comes with your wiring over it. I'll link braided sleeve in the video description that I use. It's a little bit bigger and I just put it around the connection in the existing sleeve that comes with the printer. So I'm not trying to snake any wiring through it. It's a little bit bigger and it's sliced down the middle so it's real easy to take on and off. So to get started here, I'm a, I couldn't get a camera over my printer when I did this that showed what was going on. There was just too much in the way. So I'm just going to show you how to use a solder sleeve using some scrap wiring here. And these are just some old JST connectors. 
but you're going to cut your wire to length, whatever that is. Uh, for these fan wires, they're 22 gauge, so you'll look for the small marking on your uh, wire strippers that says 22. Fit the wire in the groove, twist and pull. Same way for the other side, twist and pull, and that's going to take the insulation off and give you a nice clean uh, bit of wire for you to connect to the opposite side. Now before you splice your wiring together, make sure you slide on your solder sleeves uh, because once the wires are twisted together, you're not going to be able to put the solder sleeve on. So put those on, slide them out of the way. And there's no real good way for me to show you in a video how to twist these wires together with a splice. So I'm just going to show you with a graphic here. Uh, but just this is what I'm doing here and you can't really see it. Okay, when doing this connection, you're going to take your two ends and you're going to fold them over at the middle. One pointing up, one pointing down. Cross them over like you see here. Then you're going to take one end and continue wrapping it around as far as it will go to the opposite side. Once this is done, do the same thing with the opposite side. Begin wrapping it around towards the end uh, of the opposite wire. This is going to create a very strong physical connection before you apply the solder sleeve and permanently connect it. Now, there's I've got my two lineman splices. I'm sliding the solder sleeve over the connection so that the solder is in the middle. And I'm just going to hook it up on these jaws to hold it in position while I uh, do this. Once you have your solder over the connections, take your heat gun, get it in nice and close, and just keep applying heat to the solder. Uh, don't worry about the outer ends until you get the solder done. Once you see that solder turn uh, to liquid and flow out the sides, stop. Go and focus on the ends at that point. As soon as it flows, it's done. Don't keep applying heat to it. Start applying heat to the outer sides. Get those all shrunk up so you have a tight, watertight connection. And that's pretty much it. Give it a few minutes to cool before you mess with it. And it'll be nice and hard. It's going to have a great tight seal. And that's all you've got to do to swap out wiring on your 3D printer. So I hope that helps some. Um, Please click that like and subscribe button and thank you for watching.